Hey everybody, so we got a unboxing and specifications video for a charger that I picked up from Walmart. It is a 100 watt um, battery pack. It's a 100 watt output. Um, <clears throat> I'll just give you guys a sneak peek of the look real quick. It's a vlogger's choice item. Hypercharger Max made by Hypercharger. It's a 20,800 milliamp battery, 100 watt output um, it's for laptops and more. So please stick around check out the video and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. All right, everybody. So this is the second take for this video. The first video, nothing had audio. I, I don't know why, but every video that I did after this had audio. I guess it is what it is. Maybe I, the mic didn't get plugged in far enough or something. I'm not too sure, but um, everything's working now. So we're just going to run back through it. I'm going to go grab my phone because that's the test dummy. Um, I have used this quite a bit. I have charged it. I have not killed the, the battery yet as much as I've used it. But uh, we'll go over it again. So this is a Hypercharger Max 100 watt output, 20,800 milliamp um, portable charger, ultimate USB-C port charger, the USB-C 100 watt input and output. Um, I actually have it in backwards. USB-A is 18 watts output and USB A is 12 watts output so um, I put it in the package backwards this green um, the screen USB port right here is 18 watts out the black one is um, 12 watts out and the USB C right here is 100 watts out and you can charge it with um, micro as well so let me this real quick and flip it there. all right so I fixed it Okay, so USB-C is this guy right here. It's 100 watts out and in. There's a micro USB also that you can charge this brick with. Um, USB-A 18 watts. USB-A is the green one. And then USB-A 12 watts is the black one. Uh, it comes with a 30 watt USB-C wall charger. I have been using this just dedicatedly plugged into my phone um, cord. And just running it to my Note 10 Plus 5G, it's been working great. Does come with a three-foot USB-C charging cable to USB-C, 100 watt Hyper Gang Tech, 100 one USB port, uh, C port, two USB-A ports, charges up to three devices. Four laptops with USB-C ports also charges USB uh, chargeable smartphones and tablets. So it's a YouTube vlogger's choice. I figured I'd give it a try. A try. Um, there's information on the back. Um, the tape's gone because I've been using it. Uh, high, 100 watt um, output, and this regulates the output. Just for an example, um, recharge it, plug it, and power it. Power it, push the, the start button to start charging device, fuel meter. Recharge it, use the micro USB or USB C cable to recharge the hypercharger. USC -E, uh, C in and out hyper boost allows an Apple or Android device to charge up to 2% per minute up to 100 watts of power for hypercharge capable laptops so the hypercharge works mostly on laptops stuff like that um, I can verify the 2% per minute it does charge very rapidly my my note 10 plus 5g can is capable of 65 watts input max at one point uh 
one moment in time. Um, and it charges very well. Up to 20 watt hypercharging for an Apple or Android device with hyperboost technology. Um, I know for a fact it's char it charges my phone faster than that, but that's for the USB-A, which is the green USB port. Uh, 20,800 milliamp, it's not the biggest battery, uh, portable battery I have. Recharge the Hypermax anywhere with the included low profile 30 watt USB-C high um, power wall charger, less than three hours. So let's uh, just pull it out the box. I've technically had it out the back box once, but yeah, I put everything back in the box so you guys can see it. So we can just re-unbox it. Hopefully this goes a lot quicker than the first video. You know, I had it was the first video was like 17 or 20 minutes and it had no audio. This is what comes in the package. You have a little pamphlet with information. Just a little pamphlet. Um, mine's dusty. It's not brand new. I've been using it. Works very well. Um, and then the charger. The charger came with one bar missing originally on the original video. It's four bars. It's fully charged. Um, as well as it comes with a dual USB-C to USB-C cable. Put this back in the box. Um, I'm very happy with this. I'm actually thinking about buying another one to, to give my to my wife. Um, it works very well. We're going to bring my phone in. We're going to plug into my phone because my phone is pretty low on charge. Here's another power brick that I have as well. This is an anchor. Um, this one does... This is a PowerCore Plus 26800. It's a two, uh, two thousand, uh, twenty-six thousand eight hundred. So it's slightly bigger than this one. This is a twenty thousand eight hundred. So it's um, this one is six thousand milliamps larger than this one. Um, and this one's actually very old. This is a I think a two thousand fifteen model. This one only does a max of 1.5 amps output at 9 to 12 volts. This one does 6 to 9 volts at 2 amps and 5 to 6 volts at 3 amps for the quick charge 3.0, which is the green port. This one is a lot higher. This one doesn't have any, um, this has Qualcomm technology in it, um, Qualcomm 3.0. Um, it does have a speed charge, but it doesn't have a, P a PD port or a power delivery port. This guy has the power delivery port, which is USB-C at 100 watts out or in. It has the green USB um, 3.0 port, which would be a Qualcomm port. Um, it does 18 watts out, and it has a standard uh, USB 2.0, which is the black port, which is 12 um, watts out. And then it has the micro USB um, to charge it as well. This one um, has a lot higher specifications. Uh, input USB-C 5 to 20 volts DC, a max 100 watts. Micro, which is the USB micro port it has, 5 volts DC, max 18 watts. Output USB-C 5 to 20 volts DC, max 100 watts. USB A1, which would be uh, the green port, is 5 to 12 volts DC, max 18 watts between there. Um, USB um, A2, which is the black port, is 5 volts DC, max 12 watts. Um, let me see if I can find the information real quick because I had I'd done some information in this last time that I want to uh, still alliterate to you guys.
watts, amps, and voltage, Ohm's law. So, um, for an example, 5 volts at 100 watts. Five volts at 100 watts is 20 amps. This will dump 20 amps out. Um, it will also receive 20 amps in. Now the voltage being higher for USB-C, if you go to 20 volts at 100 watts, it's gonna be a lot lower. It's gonna be five amps. So if the item requires 20 volts during use at 100 watts, it will, provide, it will be provided five amps. Um, if it is providing five, if the item needs five volts and it's receiving 100 watts, it will intake 20 amps. Um, so for USB-A, which is the green port, this guy right here, um, five to 12 volts max, 18 watts. So put 18 watts. This port, the green port, will send a maximum of 3.6 amps on the, the lowest voltage setting and 5 volts at 12 watts which is the normal black port is a standard 2.4 amp um, output so the, the black port will do a standard of 2.4 amps out which is just a standard USB 2.0 uh, the green will do a max of 3.6 amps out and the USB um, C PD port will do a max of 20 amps out um, as long as it's at 5 watts or 5 volts and 100 watts 20 amps um, this guy over here five point six volts max three amps six point nine volts max two amps and nine to twelve volts max one point five amps so the quick charge at five to six volts at three amps so This guy is doing 15 watts out. So this green port on this guy, it's a lot slower. Um, at five volts, 15 watts, it's providing three amps. So it's it's not as fast as this guy. Even the the 3.0 green port on this one is doing um, 18 watts instead of 15 watts so it's doing a little bit faster than this guy and this guy is pretty old um anchor's got like i think two or i think it's two more alliterations of this item um two more newer models i just don't like the newer models because <clears throat> they took the q iq ports away and um <clears throat> they're not providing you a green usb a port that's qualcomm 3.0 anymore. They're just po providing a couple P uh, PD power delivery USB-C ports. That's you know why I didn't buy the other one. It does show on the back Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, but um, <clears throat> this guy is dumping out a lot of power. Um, my phone is actually at 67 percent. I kind of wish that I didn't lose the audio in the other one. I think that I went to charge the camera and um, I had to unplug the mic to charge the camera um, and I, I just don't think I put the the mic plug all the way back in properly for whatever reason but it's also a smart device when you plug it in it will automatically turn it on and it you don't have to push the button to turn it on on some things for this anchor when you plug it in to an item you actually have to push the button, which lights all the circles up. 
to physically get it to, to start charging the device. This one you don't have to do that. Um, maybe I'll do a I'll, the old video that I lost that had no audio on it. Maybe I'll do a a voiceover and record um, and uh, post that video anyways. But um, at the moment, I'm just going to redo the video. I think the video is between 15 and 20 minutes. So, unplug it. It says fast charging, 67%, 44 minutes until full. And from my experience with this for the last couple weeks, um, since I recorded it the first time, I didn't realize that the audio was gone. Um, I've noticed that it does. It does do about 2% per minute on this device. Um, I'll have to try it on a laptop later down the road. I don't have any laptops that, that utilize um, uh, USB-C as a charging option, but you know, since I have it, you know, I, I can use it for that eventually. Well, other thing is, is when something is plugged in and charging, it changes depending on the device it changes the LED so the LEDs were originally all dark blue now I'm charging my phone it does it is capable of power delivery and it changed the first light to like a turquoise color um, it was at 67 it's now at 68 um, it was only at 67 for a few now it's at 69 so it's gone 2% since I plugged it in, in, you know, about a minute or so. And I, the first time I recorded this video, I'm pretty positive that it, you know, it was actually exactly accurate. It was 2% per minute. Um, so it's now at 69, we'll wait one minute, see if it's at 71 for the 2%. But all in all, I'm very happy with this. Um, I'll have to do a review down the road on it. It's a vlogger's choice. I've never seen this on YouTube, but it's got a... Just because an item has this on it does not mean it was actually, you know... Um, doesn't mean that a bunch of vloggers on YouTube physically actually looked at this item and then gave it that vlogger's choice award. Uh, that's just advertising. You know, I don't know if it actually was looked at by vloggers or not on YouTube. I have no idea. I am a YouTuber and I like charging items, you know, chargers and portable power banks. You know, it's, it's always nice to have them, especially something that's capable of charging, charging devices like this Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G and even some new devices like... Um, the, the new um, Galaxy Note S20 that just came out, Ultra that just came out. <clears throat> it's at 71%. It did take one minute to do so. Um, there isn't too much, <coughs> excuse me, there isn't too much else I can say about it. I've been using this 30 watt um, Hyper PD charger over the one that came with my Galaxy Note 10 5 plus 5G. I've been using this over that plug. Um, just plugged in my normal anchor cable that I normally use, which is USB-C to USB-C. This guy seems to charge my phone a crap ton quicker. It is actually uh, the one that came with my phone is rated at 25 watts. This one's rated at 30. Um, but this one actually has a higher ampage output for 5 volt 3 amp, 9 volt 3 amp, 12 volt 2.5 amp, and 15 volt 2 amp, 20 volt 1.5 amp. The one that came with my phone does 5 volts at um, 2.6 amps or 7 amps, something like that, um, and 9 volt um, at the around the same. Uh, but you know I do really like this guy my phone's now at 72% 
Um, I think the last video, the reason it was so long, kind of like this one, is is I think I charged my phone like 30% or 20% of the video, which was like 10 or 15 minutes. I don't want to make it that long. But um, all in all, for the price, this was $69 at Walmart. I mean, that's that's a pretty good deal for the price, especially the output it provides. Um, let me go grab my Samsung plug too. Here's the Samsung plug that came with my phone. It says super fast charging on it. It's been beat up and it states compared to this one. Output 5 volts 3 amps or 9 volts 2.77 amps. This guy does 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 3 amps. And this guy right here with the PPS option is 3.3 volts to 5.9 volts, 5 amps, or 3.3 uh, volts, 3.3 to 11 volts is at 2.25 amps. So, for an example, this guy right here. Um, does 12 volts at 2.5 amps this one will go from 3.3 to 11 volts at 2.25 so this one is just slightly a little bit more powerful um, and this one also this one right here also does 15 volts at 2 amps and 20 volts at 1.5 amps so this one is actually a little bit stronger um, this one doesn't go any higher than 11 11 volts where this one will go 5 volts 9 volts 12 volts 15 volts 20 volts and this will do in between that so if this does 12 volts at 2.5 amps and this one does 11 at 2.25 it means it does a half an amp more for 12 volts and this does a half an amp less at 11 volts so this one is slightly better um, the phone's now at 75 percent says 37 minutes so yeah you're roughly getting the two percent per minute um, from what I've seen using it for the last few weeks um, since I did the original video I do appreciate you guys watching I hope that some of these videos are being hel are helpful and that the information I'm providing is um, useful. Um, just wanted to give you guys, yo, know, an update. Well, not an update, but I had to record the re-record the video. But um, I will give updates about this later down the road when I've had months or if not a little over a year. I'll do a review on it. Um, tell you how long it's, uh, it's it's functioned if it died if it's still running strong. I'll let you guys know My phone's now at 77. It was at 67 when we started I believe if I remember correctly So it does pretty well, you know 67 or me. I think it was 67. I don't remember it might have been at like 69 but um Yo know, from the what the percentage is at now. It's almost at 80% you know, it's almost gone 10% since we started the video, which is actually extremely fast for a portable device like this. Some of them don't charge that fast. This one does charge. When I got this one, this is the only thing I used, and I got several. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one's 10. I have 10 different charging portable chargers. I have 10 of them. One of them actually is a wireless charger. You can literally just set the phone on it and it charges from the outside, um, which I got to do another video on that one. But uh, it's at 78%. Um, you guys will probably correct me in the comments. Yeah, I, I probably made a mistake and probably said it was at 67 when it was at 69 or something, you know. The, the whole point of the, the video is that it's progressively getting up in 
the charge rate on my phone as quickly as they state on the box. That's what matters. It says 2% two, two per one minute. That's what I've been seeing. Um, I don't remember what the phone was at when I plugged it in. I'd have to go through the footage and look. But I think it was at 67% or something like that. The phone's now at 79%. Probably be at 80% in another 30 seconds or so. I appreciate you guys' this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon for future updates or smash the bell notification icon if you guys want. Um, please go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links, as well as my DJ Electronics affiliate links. I will also be bringing a new camera to the, to the channel, which is the DJI Osmo Action and some accessories. You'll be seeing that in the, in the future videos. Phone's now at 80%. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!